Picture this. A massive steel city floating on the ocean, launching fighter jets into the black void of night. No runway lights guide these multi-million dollar aircraft home. No headlights pierce the darkness ahead. This floating fortress, spanning three football fields in length, moves through dangerous waters as silently as a ghost ship. We're talking about U.S. aircraft carriers, the most advanced and powerful warships ever built. While cruise ships light up the ocean like floating casinos and cargo vessels glow brighter than Christmas trees, these technological marvels choose darkness as their ally. But why would the Navy's crown jewel deliberately sail blind through treacherous waters? The answer isn't what you might expect. It's a carefully calculated strategy born from decades of combat experience, cutting edge technology, and a tactical philosophy that says, if the enemy can see us, we've already lost half the battle. To understand why carriers avoid lights, we need to grasp how light behaves over open ocean. On land, light gets absorbed by trees, buildings, and pavement. But at sea, there's nothing to contain it. The ocean surface acts like a massive mirror, reflecting and amplifying even the smallest light source across incredible distances. A simple handheld flashlight used on deck can be spotted from over 10 nautical miles away on a clear night. The flat water surface bounces that light in all directions, creating what's essentially a beacon, announcing the ship's presence to anyone watching. Consider this. A standard headlight on your car illuminates maybe 200 feet of road ahead. But on a carrier, what would a forward-facing light reveal? There are no roads to follow, no lane markings to guide the way, just endless black water and a compass bearing. That bright beam wouldn't help navigation, but it would certainly help enemy forces locate, identify, and potentially target the vessel. Modern surveillance technology has made this vulnerability even more critical. Advanced night vision systems, thermal sensors, and satellite optics can detect the tiniest light signature from hundreds of miles away. One uncontrolled light source can reveal not just a ship's location, but its heading, speed, and even its class to hostile forces. So how does a 100,000-ton floating city navigate through pitch black waters at 30 knots without crashing into anything? The answer lies in technology that makes human vision obsolete. Modern aircraft carriers are equipped with sophisticated sensor arrays that create a complete picture of their surroundings. Primary radar systems don't just detect objects, they calculate speed, bearing, size, and movement patterns. These systems can track everything from small fishing boats to fast-moving threats, building a real-time digital map of the surrounding area. Below the surface, sonar systems monitor for submarine threats and underwater obstacles. Advanced sonar buoys and data sharing with escort vessels ensure nothing approaches undetected from beneath the waves. The ship's Combat Information Center serves as the technological brain, compiling data from radar, satellite feeds, sonar, and intelligence intercepts. This creates a comprehensive 360-degree picture of the battle space that updates every second. The crew inside CIC can see threats and obstacles that human eyes could never detect, even in broad daylight. Navigation relies on GPS systems, inertial guidance, and electronic charts managed by highly trained bridge crews. The officer of the deck and navigation teams coordinate constantly with escort ships, creating a protective bubble of awareness around the carrier group. This brings us to MCON, emissions control, perhaps the most critical concept in modern naval warfare. Under full MCON protocols, an entire carrier strike group can essentially vanish from electronic detection. MCON governs everything, radio transmissions, radar pulses, and yes, lighting. When operating under strict emissions control, carriers shut down all non-essential systems that could broadcast their location. It's stealth mode taken to an extraordinary level. Even essential lighting becomes surgically precise. Catapult crews use carefully shielded flashlights. Landing signal officers wear minimal glow tape. Pilots rely on heads-up displays and infrared beacons, invisible to the naked eye. The goal isn't to look impressive, it's to remain completely invisible until the moment action is required. 
This invisibility extends beyond just avoiding detection. In contested waters, where enemy reconnaissance drones and spy satellites constantly patrol, any visible light source becomes a potential target marker. The philosophy is simple. If they can't find you, they can't hit you. Operating in darkness doesn't mean operating blind. Carriers employ incredibly sophisticated lighting systems designed for one purpose, maximum functionality with minimal detectability. Flight deck operations use deck edge lighting, tiny low intensity lights embedded flush with the surface. These provide just enough visual reference for pilots without spilling light upward or across the water. The famous Fresnel lens optical landing system projects a precise glide slope indicator that's only visible to approaching pilots, not to outside observers. Night vision goggle compacted systems represent another technological marvel. Green chem lights and infrared strobes mark crew positions and safety zones. To the naked eye, the deck appears completely dark. Through a pilot's NVGs, it becomes a perfectly illuminated runway with clear operational zones. Flight deck personnel become part of this lighting system. Their colored uniforms, yellow shirts, green shirts, each designating specific roles, include glow tape and reflective panels designed to be seen up close but invisible from distance. Interior spaces use red lighting exclusively during night operations. Red light preserves night vision, allowing crew members to move through the ship without losing their ability to see in dark conditions once they step outside. The Navy's obsession with darkness comes from painful historical lessons written in blood and steel. During World War II, German U-boats in the Atlantic hunted Allied ships by silhouette. Merchant vessels sailing with lights became easy targets, sunk with terrifying efficiency during what became known as Operation Drumbeat. The Falklands War in 1982 provided another stark reminder. Argentine Air Force pilots launched low-altitude attacks on British warships using visual cues for final targeting. Ships that weren't properly darkened became bullseyes. The HMS Sheffield, struck by an Exocet missile, suffered devastating damage, partly because visual confirmation helped seal its fate. More recently, conflicts in the Gulf of Aden demonstrated how proper lighting discipline remains crucial. Vessels operating without appropriate blackout procedures found themselves vulnerable not just to pirates, but to drone surveillance and infrared tracking systems. These lessons shaped modern naval doctrine. During the Cold War, going dark became an art form. Submarines perfected silent running, surface ships practiced blackout operations, and carriers mastered stealth through shadow and silence. Today's threats have evolved far beyond traditional warfare. Satellites can read license plates from orbit. Drones can track engine heat signatures from 30,000 feet. In this environment, being invisible isn't just tactical, it's essential for survival. Recent operations in the Red Sea and South China Sea have seen U.S. carriers operating near contested waters where foreign reconnaissance assets constantly probe for intelligence. Using visible lighting in these environments would be equivalent to broadcasting your exact position to potential adversaries. The stakes continue rising as technology advances. Every photon that escapes into the night becomes a potential signal, a data point that sophisticated enemy systems can exploit. Modern naval warfare often begins with detection, and the side that remains hidden longest often strikes first. Here's the remarkable truth. Aircraft carriers don't just survive in darkness, they thrive in it. They launch jets at midnight with precision, recover them in silence, and coordinate complex multi-demand operations across vast ocean expanses without betraying their position. This isn't magic, it's mastery. It's the result of decades of technological advancement, tactical evolution, and hard-earned experience when a floating city the size of a skyscraper can operate in complete blackout conditions while still guiding $80 million jets safely home, you realize something profound. They don't need to be seen to dominate. The message a dark carrier sends is more powerful than any show of lights could ever be. It says, we're here, we're watching, and you won't find us unless we choose to be found. It's not just about hiding, it's about maintaining the ultimate tactical advantage.
The message a dark carrier sends is more powerful than any show of lights could ever be. It says, we're here, we're watching, and you won't find us unless we choose to be found. It's not just about hiding, it's about maintaining the ultimate tactical advantage. Would you survive the silence? Imagine being aboard a floating fortress. No lights, no signals, no second chances. Just the hum of engines, the Black Sea, and the ever-present threat of detection. Do you think going completely dark is just about stealth? Or is there something far more strategic behind this chilling tactic? Share your thoughts in the comments below if you found this deep dive into the shadow tactics of U.S. aircraft carriers intriguing. Hit that like button and subscribe to Navy Nerds, where the battlefield meets analysis and the truth behind military power is always one video away.